So, you want some tips to be better communicating with clients and people. Well, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? This is BC. I wanted to do a quick video in regards to communication and sales because this subject continuously comes up. Um, and I wanted to take a step back and give some very simple introductory stuff for people to kind of... Um, ponder upon because these are things that need to be brought to your attention that you need to start adding to refine your skills in communicating with people. Okay, Two or three things I'm going to cover today depending on how long the explanation for each one takes. I'll go deeper. Okay, So the first thing is a little trick you learn um, as far as the conscious and the subconscious mind uh, when you study hypnosis. Okay, uh, There's a technique called negative suggestion or negation. Okay. And basically the principle is this, your mind does not know how to process a negative. So if I say don't or do not, your mind doesn't get that. It's like, okay, do not what? So because you said don't or do not, the next thing is literally taken literally and as a command. So if I say do not watch this video, your mind hears watch this video. Don't think about a red cat. Your mind has to go think about a red cat, don't do it. So, for many of you who walk around telling yourself, don't be nervous, don't be nervous, don't be nervous, now you know why you keep getting nervous and you intensify the nervousness. Because your mind is going, nervous, blank it out. Nervous, blank it out. But what is it doing first? It's bringing up nervousness. Okay? Very simple. So, when you look at some scripts and dialogues, you'll know how to make some tweaks to be able to covertly influence and persuade somebody. Don't watch this video. Don't listen to every single word that I'm saying. The cool thing and the effectiveness of this is when you say don't or do not in the beginning, the person that you're saying this to, their mind is going to be like, what? But because consciously they have to make it logical and come to their own conclusion, they're going to be like, oh, he said don't. So they're not going to take it literally. Okay. Now, of course, there's other ways of using this and deeper ways of explaining it, but I wanted to bring it to your attention because this is something you learn early on that if you can master this, um, you can be very, very persuasive and use a lot of influence. And all I'm doing is bringing to your awareness techniques that are used against you every single day by all the big time advertisers and all that stuff. Okay, And again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, Another thing you have to pay very close attention to especially if you're looking to build rapport with people and connect with them, is sensory language. And what I uh, mean when I say sensory language is this simple. Most people process things different ways, right? The majority of the population is uh, visual. Some people process more from the auditory standpoint and some people are more kinesthetic. And it comes across in their language, right? Kinesthetic people, it's, it's all about feel, right? Oh, you know what I feel, blah, blah, blah. I feel dot, 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 right? That's a good word. Uh, the, the people who process more auditory, you're going to hear things like, well, okay, I hear what you're saying. Okay, that sounds good. Now, they may intertwine and use different ones. However, you're going to find a pattern of them using one of these more often. Visual person, I see what you're saying. Okay. Do you see what I mean? See, right? Um, is the picture pretty, pretty clear? Is that crystal clear? Right? That would invoke visual. So again, those are just a few of the phrases or anchors or words that people may use in interactions that you need to attune your ear towards. Now, this can, for a lot of people, seem a little bit more advanced, and to the average person, actually it is. It's introductory at this point for some people, but if this is the first time you're hearing this or you've heard it, but you're not quite sure or you're saying, oh shit, I'm so caught up in my head still, I don't really hear these things, then it's okay. You have to build your way up there, okay? But the important thing is that you have the right guide or somebody to help you, uh, you know, start bringing these things to your attention so you can start working on it and take it piece by piece, okay? Now, you're going to hear in a lot of advertising these two things that I told you, especially the first one. Man, they're sneaky in this. I saw an uh, advertisement, um, not related to these two things, but... It brought into the the equation colors and how our, our mind filters things, right? 
and I think it was at a gas station and it said, and I go to that gas station all the time and I pointed it out to the, the employees. I was like, oh, you guys are sneaky. They didn't even notice it, right? Because they don't understand this shit. But it's just something like um, resolutions were made to be broken, right? And they put that up right after New Year's, like around February, right? And on broken, they put that word in the middle and in broken, the okay, they made it red. So you're reading resolutions are, were made to be broken and your mind is registering the okay in red. So what is your mind telling yourself literally twice? It's okay to break my resolution. You see how sneaky they are? Yet, me teaching this or you learning sales, what do some people tell you? Oh, well, you're manipulating people. You're being mean. Well, all the big powers are doing it to you. So at the very least, what you can do is learn these techniques so that you can defend yourself when they're used against you because you'll be aware. You see, this is the key. I don't give a shit if I teach you something and you actually use it, but at least have it in your tool belt so you have a better understanding of these mechanics of life. Because whether you want to admit these things work or they don't, they're being used and they're out in the world and this is real shit. So you can ignore it and, and be like, ah, well, it doesn't matter, but they're gonna be used against you. These are, this is all science and techniques. This isn't just hocus pocus like a lot of people think it is. These are factual techniques that are used constantly and that the powers who pay billions of fucking dollars a year or millions in advertising, they know this stuff and they're using it against you because they have the top level people advising them and writing these things up. You think that resolutions were made to be broken and the okay in red is just by chance? Of course not. Now let's flip it. The two techniques I gave you and that advertisement for marketing purposes, how can you use it now? Are you gonna practice this stuff? Are you gonna be more aware now of sensory language? Are you going to use negation and negative suggestion now to your advantage? Are you gonna use some of these subliminal things like that uh, gas station advertisement that I just told you? I posted it on my Instagram, if follow, follow me on Instagram, but it was just a story, so it was only there for 24 hours. You see? And again, I'm just giving you the tip of the iceberg. What else is there out there that you don't know? And if you've heard this stuff before, why have you, again, kept it in the back of your mind and waited until I said it in this video to now maybe pick it back up and go study? So one of the questions I get is, well, why would you study NLP and hypnosis? What does that have to do with sales and communication? Are you kidding me? How do you not see that connection? It's pretty blatantly obvious, isn't it? So before we continue and wrap it up, I would like to hear from you guys, what is your level of understanding of communication? Is this your first time hearing about NLP and hypnosis? Have you started studying it? Do you have a decent grasp on it? Let me know in the comment section, right? And give it a thumbs up too. So people are gonna ask, oh, what book to read? Look, I'll give you two suggestions. Number one, yes, there's a ton of introduction to NLP and hypnosis books and a ton of stuff. And once you read those intro books, they're gonna talk about the different uh, we can say branches of each one, especially hypnosis, where you have different uh, people who took it a different way, then based on your reading and understanding of that, you'll know which way you want to go. But at the end of the day, right, if you're looking for like hands-on training with this stuff, I recommend Modern Success, right? Everybody looks at me and they're like, well, you're just a realtor. What the fuck do you know? I'm certified NLP practitioner and hypnotherapist. So I'm well-practiced in this stuff and I know it and I use it all the time, all the time. Okay, so get on the program. But anyways, once you do that, um, another great person to look at, uh, especially if you're talking reading material, who's a master at this shit is Anthony Robbins, right? He's, again, world-class when it comes to NLP and hypnosis and all this stuff. I've read all his books, Awaken the Giant Within and all those books, definitely. I'm sure you heard of him if you follow me. You can get all his stuff too. And he goes through, just like in the introduction to NLP and hypnosis books, there's a lot of visualization and exercises designed to get your mind moving, okay? And it'll give you a basic understanding because neuro-linguistic programming, neuro-linguistic programming, it says it there, NLP, powerful with linguistics. We can literally have an effect on somebody's mind and rewire a lot of these things that in us are these stuck patterns that we need to move. Because just as much as NLP and hypnosis and all these subjects are about your outward communication with other people and influencing them, it starts with you. And you have to first handle this, you communicating with you. A lot of people fail communicating with themselves and selling themselves on learning this stuff and taking their lives to the next level and their commitments. Because if you can't sell yourself on doing things, let's say you're somebody who is undisciplined and uncommitted, now you wanna start a business and sell to other people and tell them how 
your product and your service is committed and will deliver the result when you can't even do it for yourself. So at the end of the day, no matter what subject we're studying, but in particular these, it's always about us and what we're doing and where we're at. Okay. So with that said, I don't want to make it too long. Again, if you enjoyed it, this is a subject that you find intriguing. I recommend you study. You're always welcome to get on Modern Success, my program, because we go deep on this shit, right? As my, some of my members can tell you. Uh, again, shout out to all the people that joined the other day, man. We had like five or six people join in one day. That's, that's truly incredible. So thank you guys. I appreciate the support. Supreme Being, my podcast, we do two episodes a week. Remember, you are seeing this while I'm in Australia, so I'm not sure if the podcast episodes are going to come out. I need to see what the time, uh, time zone difference sorry, is when I'm over there as far as doing it normally at 7 p.m. Pacific. But it's all good. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Team BC, we'll see you on the next video.